everyone how's it going so my camera is sideways everyone how's it going so as if you uh, so as if you so as if you couldn't tell I have a lot of guitars and today's video is going to be showing you all the guitars I have some of them are not in this room right now some of them you can't some of them are in this room and you can't see them because there's one right there there's one right there and there's two outside my room right now so what this video is going to be is just showing you all of my guitars. I don't know the total, honestly. I'll figure that out as soon as uh, I get them all counted up. But anyways, on to the video. Okay, so here's my first guitar. It is a Fender... I don't know the exact name of it. First guitar I've ever had. I kind of learned on this for the most part. Until I got this next guitar, which I'm going to show you right now. Here's my next guitar. It is a Fender Squire Strat. This is when I really started to get into guitar, this guitar. I know people say Squires are cheap, but I think it sounds pretty good, actually. Okay, so here's my, here's the next one. It's a Epiphone SG. I really like this guitar. This, this guitar is most notable on the first, basically, the, like, one of the first singles I put out, which is Don't Worry About It. And also, I believe it was on the uh, B side to that, the live wire. This guitar was essentially the whole Don't Worry About It album, for the most part. Most of the songs on there were played on this. And I always try to like fit this into any album that I make, for the most part. Like this new album that I have coming out, there's... I believe I put, put, one, put it in one song. Time Goes By, uh, I use this on, on, the, on the song Breakout. I got this because I'm a really big fan of Ang Angus Young, and I decided to get a guitar. It looks like his. Yeah, I realize uh, I haven't been ta I haven't talked about this guitar back there. Well, this one. My most recent addition to the I think it's my most recent addition. <laughs> most recent addition to the collection is this Fender Telecaster. My first Fender, well, you know, my first actual like Fender guitar. You know what I mean. So this is a Fender Player Series Telecaster in Typo Blue. I really like the color on it. So this is a really good guitar. It's probably one of it's automatically became one of my favorites because I I like the sound of Telecasters like uh, Keith Richards and uh, Andy Summers from The Police. It's really what inspired me to pick up a Telecaster. I still, I just like the sound of Telecasters. But anyway. Up next is the next guitar that I have just sitting in my room that I occasionally pick up from time to time. It's this Drifter guitar. Okay, the weird thing is the headstock says Drifter, but, you know, inside the, the hole it says Continental. I don't know what brand this exactly is. I don't know. I got this for free. My cousin gave it to me. It's actually a really good guitar for how, how small it is, it sounds really good, honestly. I just pick this up from time to time and just start playing it. The most notable song that this was on was uh, Midnight Rain, the, one of the more recent like acoustic tracks that I came up with. Actually, that's the first song I made with this. All right, up next is probably what is pro mostly, most likely my favorite guitar that I, that I own. Is this Epiphone Les Paul in Sun? I, be I believe it's Tobacco Sunburst, possibly. I really like this guitar. You know, people always like trash and like cheap, cheaper like brands like Epiphone and Squire, but I, I actually really like the sound of this. In my opinion, it's not really the price or you know what I mean. It's not how cheap or expensive the guitar is. It's really the player that's behind it. That's not saying that I'm good, but you know what I mean. This is probably my favorite guitar. One of the like cheaper guitars that's that's in my collection, but I still really love this guitar. But this has the my favorite pickups of all time in it. And you're probably you're probably gonna see this a lot in the future. Um, most notable things is the new the new album, Take It Easy, that was played on this. The whole the whole song was. Um, let me think of an older album. Uh, Time goes by. I believe Nitro was played on this. The solo for the blues was on this with, with the uh, slide. 
First time I used a slide, I actually like that. Next is probably the biggest guitar in my collection. It is a uh, Epiphone Dot, which is, you know, like the Epiphone equivalent to a 335. This thing is awesome, honestly. I don't know if I've used it. Uh, yes, I have used it on a song. Uh, Demolition, the intro to Don't, don't Worry About It. Surprisingly, this guitar is almost like a punk rock guitar, honestly. It's got that, you know, certain punch to it, if that makes any sense. I don't know. It's it's, it's really good for punk rock, and I don't know why. But, the phone dot. I mean, really. Get my ceiling. I mean, really, look at this thing. One of the reasons I really like the way this looked is because uh, Chuck Berry, even though this isn't a red guitar, this is like, like his, you know what I mean? Well, he used a Gibson, but I really like this guitar. Okay, next up is probably the oldest guitar in my collection. It is a Decca something. It's a Decca guitar. Got this for 50 bucks, and this thing sounds really good. I mean, it has different... It, it doesn't have the original pickups in it. Keep hitting my ceiling. Yeah, it doesn't have the original pickups in it. I think the original pickups were single coil. But I have no idea... This is, I think it's a Japanese guitar. I'm not 100% sure. I've never seen anything like this before. But it sounds really good, actually. I used it on a, the Wave, I believe. I used it on the Wave. Neon Dreamscape, I believe. The solo was played on a different guitar, which I'll get to right now. Okay, next up is my Washburn X-Series. Sorry, forgot about that. It's a... It's a very good substitute for a Strat, honestly. I like the I like the neck on this guitar. My two favorite necks are this, probably this one and the Telecaster back there. I really like using this for for like solos. Like I was saying before, it was on the Neon Dreamscape. Also, the solo for Don't Look Back. It's my favorite solo of all time that I've made. Um. Another Epiphone Les Paul with single coil pickups. It's got a really interesting sound to it, honestly. I got this for like a hundred bucks, I believe. I don't think I've ever seen a Les Paul with single coil pickups before. Those of you who don't know what guitar is and are watching this, you're probably not going to get it. What You're probably not going to get what a single coil or humbucker is. But, anyways... Most notable thing this was on was on the Time Goes By album, uh, Long Way Home. That's one of, my, one of my favorite tracks on that album. Up next is a guitar I don't play too often, but it's very beautiful, honestly. It is a urban acoustic guitar. I don't know the exact model name, once again. It's really... It sounds really good outside. I, I usually play this outside, but it's kind of winter time, so I haven't played it in a while. So is it in tune? It is it not. Is, is, is. Next up is my Hofner violin bass. It's 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 the Paul it's the Paul McCartney one. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like almost an exact replica of Paul McCartney's, except this is right-handed and not left-handed. That's the reason I got this guitar for the most part. Bass. Sorry. Yeah, I basically use this bass on just about everything for the most part. Um, Hofner makes great quality instruments, and this is a really good one. Uh, this is almost this is on almost every single track that you know I that includes bass in it, <laughs> which is every track. Um, every like rock track has this, in it. and of course to go along with that bass is the guitar version of that exact instrument. I've not used this yet on any song because this is actually the most recent addition to the to the collection of mine kind of has like a uh, I don't know how to describe it it's if you t if you know what kind of pickups these are can you please tell me it's like almost like a humbucker but it's single coil I don't know not much of a story behind this one yet we saw this one day and I just decided to pick it up and the last thing I'd like to show you but I can't right now because it is in the main back of these guitars right here and I do not feel like digging it out right now uh, you'll probably see a picture or a video of it hanging back there. It's a silver tone bass. Uh, 
this is that was this is used on a, on a couple tracks, uh, mostly the wave, the wave EP, the first one, like the Neon Dreamscape and the Don't Look Back. It's used on those two. It's used on a couple of the songs that's on this new newer album that's coming out, and that's that's about it, I guess. That's it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave it in the comments and I will try to answer it. So until next time, have a nice day.